Back to our breaking news right now this morning. Charges filed in that fatal shooting on the set of the movie Rust. Prosecutors in Mexico say, that New Mexico say they will charge Alec Baldwin with involuntary manslaughter in the death of cinematographer Helena Hutchins. Hutchins died after she was shot by a gun Baldwin was using. Hannah Gutierrez-Reed, the film's armor, who was responsible for that gun, is also being charged with involuntary manslaughter. Joining us right now, attorney Lisa Bloom, who has handled many high-profile cases. Lisa, thank you for being with us. Um, this is obviously just developing, but why don't you talk about these recent developments? Did you see this coming and the fact that two people now being charged? Well, I didn't see it coming, and we know in the criminal law, it's a very high standard. Prosecutors would have to prove beyond a reasonable doubt each and every element of these crimes. Alec Baldwin is charged with two counts of involuntary manslaughter. So for homicide crimes, we start up at murder, which is an intentional act. He is not charged with that, and they go all the way down to involuntary manslaughter, which is the lowest level of a homicide crime. And essentially, he's being accused of negligence of carelessly handling that gun that led to the death. What could he be facing here in terms of while he's facing these two charges, what are the repercussions? So on the first charge of involuntary manslaughter, it it's a fourth degree felony and it carries a punishment of up to 18 months in jail and a $5,000 fine. The second charge is a higher level of involuntary manslaughter and it has a firearm enhancement. If he's convicted of that, it's an 18 month sentence plus a minimum five year jail sentence and the $5,000 fine. You know, something else that we learned today, Assistant Director David Halls, who investigators say handed the gun from Hannah Reed to Alec Baldwin, also faced charges and signed a plea agreement for the charge of negligent use of a deadly weapon. He will get a suspended sentence and six months of probation. I'm interested in the use of a plea agreement and, and charging a person who handed the gun. I guess the, the idea yes. is that the prosecutors believe multiple people are responsible here. Yes, and you're very smart to focus in on that because typically what prosecutors need is an, a key witness in each case, mm. right? So somebody who takes a plea will often agree to testify against somebody else, and if they testify truthfully, then they get just a suspended sentence. That We don't know that, but that may very well be what happened here. You know, with cases often, um, it's he said, she said, that sort of thing. In this case, we have video which really shows what happened, also the aftermath and how uh, people reacted. How, that, how does that play into the situation? Well, it all comes into play. All of the facts will be looked at by a jury if this case goes to trial, including Alec Baldwin afterwards seem, seeming to be very upset, very remorseful. Uh, again, he's not charged with intentionally shooting her, but he is charged with negligence. And any of us, if we are not reasonable and careful, especially with the handling of firearms, uh, we can be charged with a crime, even a homicide crime, even if we didn't intend the outcome. It just wasn't accident if we were negligent which means if we were not careful in how we handled a gun all right uh, lisa thanks so much we really appreciate you uh, taking the time to join us this mo morning last minute as this uh, story develops it's a story we've been continuing to follow of mm -hmm. course because it was just so, so shocking and um, raises the question about what changes maybe mm -hmm. need to happen in this industry mm -hmm. thank you talk to you soon